Did you know that you can get this ClickUp Power BI dashboard for free? This dashboard is automatically connected to ClickUp data. Uh, it also visualizes how many tasks each of your team members completes, how many hours they spend, and allows you to identify which resources are underutilized or overutilized. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate how to get this dashboard for yourself and uh, also the approach for automatically getting data into your Power BI. I want to start the video by taking you through the dashboard. Um, first of all, uh, we've got a task uh, dashboard here, which um, analyzes tasks by status. So how many tasks are complete, how many are outstanding. Uh, we can also see how many tasks were created in every month and the current status of them. So as you can see, for example, we have uh, a big spike here, which is probably when ClickUp was implemented for this company. And we can also see the percentage of completed tasks. Uh, something that stands out, for example, is in June, there is a dip for percentage of completed tasks. So it's, it probably makes sense to revisit the tasks that were created in June. We can also see how many tasks are completed by assignee and something that really stands out is there are a lot of tasks that are unassigned and obviously they're not completed. So something that you can immediately do after looking at this dashboard is to assign the unassigned tasks. You can also identify some employees uh, that have high percentage of outstanding tasks so you can also kind of look into this and see if there's anything you can do to help them. Finally we have hours spent per project and uh, everything is interactive so if you click on this project for example you can see when the tasks were created, who they were assigned to, which ones are outstanding and who is responsible for them. Now, if we go to the next page, which is assignee analysis, the purpose of this page is to click on, uh, to, to select an assignee, and uh, this way you can see which tasks are completed, which ones are not completed. Um, you can also see out of the not completed tasks, which ones are um, outstanding and what's the status for them. You can see which projects the outstanding tasks are for so you can see for example there is a high percentage of outstanding tasks in this project and it uh, just it is sorted in ascending order uh, in this visual finally you can see the actual tasks uh, in this table and the project that they are referred to and you can also click on the url uh, here, which will take you to your ClickUp and uh, you can take actions on your tasks there. Um, so uh, if you want to switch to another um, employee, you can do that using this filter as well. Now, if we go to the resource utilization tab, uh, we can essentially see uh, total hours and average hours worked uh, by SNE. Um, those would be hours per month. We can also see uh, how many hours each SNE works on average on each day of the week. So here we can see that um, you know, some people do work weekends, so we can investigate into this. But you can also see trends by month and by user here. Um, and those trends will tell you whether they're working more or less hours month over month. So, for example, here you can see that uh, Nicholas was doing uh, quite a lot of work for us in the beginning, but the hours dropped recently. So uh, we can look into why and potentially assign more tasks to him. Uh, we can also see average hours worked by weekday here. And uh, for example, we can see that this employee here works a lot of hours on Wednesdays and Fridays. At the same time, 
um, this employee here only works a couple of hours per day. So uh, we can use this information to potentially redistribute some work. So now we'll explain how to get this dashboard for you. So the first thing you would want to do is you would want to go to this page and uh, this page covers uh, how we would get ClickUp data into Power BI automatically. Essentially, this is a software uh, that connects directly to your ClickUp and extracts data to an Azure SQL database. So, um, uh, the data would be extracted into your database in the format described below. Uh, you can see the sample data format here, and uh, you can also read into the descriptions of all the columns and all the tables below. Um, after this, um, oh, once the data is extracted to your Azure SQL, this dashboard essentially could be installed uh, as a template. So um, uh, right now it's about 80% productized. So it can be installed as a service for free, uh, but later on we are planning to do a bit more work on it and uh, offer it as a template, same as our QuickBooks Online dashboard. Um, I hope it makes sense. Uh, and I uh, hope you found this video useful. If you did, please leave a like and leave a comment. If you have any questions about the connector or the dashboards, then also please let me know. Thank you.